Hello, my name is Norman Meyer and welcome to 22 Steps to Start Your Own Business and Live Your Dream. Um, when you cease to dream, you cease to live. This is what Malcolm Forbes um, said once. And I want to encourage you to live your own dream. Over 600,000 new businesses are founded each year and there must be a good reason for it. People are tired of being stuck in a job that they don't love, are limited by the amount of money that they can make, and feel like they don't have the flexibility to manage their work and life schedule. Many entrepreneurs want to be in the driver's seat of their own destiny and make their own decisions. Some people don't like to go to work and they, some people don't like taking orders. So the number one reason why people want to start their own business is that they can control their own destiny. So the second most important reason why people don't wanna, you know, why they want to own their own business is because of the flexibility that comes with it. You can work from anywhere you want, you can set your own hours, you can do what you love, and some people work from home so they can be close to their families, their children, and their pets. Some others, you know, they want to focus on their hobbies, want to have a great lifestyle, and you know, all that would not be possible in a regular job. So many entrepreneurs they say that the long hours they invest in growing their business doesn't really feel like work to them because they're having fun doing it and you know so should you also if you work for someone else you don't get to choose who your co-workers are and if you don't like them then you know there's nothing you can do about it or you have to change your job so i don't think anybody ever started a great business because they wanted to make a little bit more cash Everybody who started their own business had a dream. They wanted to improve and better their life. So there's no question that owning your own business can be a risky proposition, but with risk comes reward. And if you take the risk and things go well, you know, you will also reap the rewards, which, you know, in most cases is money. So one of the biggest differences in owning your own company as opposed to working for someone else is also the sense of pride that you establish in yourself by building something, by creating something, by adding value to other people's lives. And obviously, you know, there's nothing like, you know, being successful through your own you know, abilities, ideas and efforts and, you know, make something happen. And it's basically also one of, you know, Maslow's uh, part of human needs, you know, to fulfill your own dream, to, to fulfill your own destiny, obviously to make yourself happy, you know, and do it, founding your own business and, and, you know, creating your own business. That is part of that, let's say, uh, human need that we all have. Um, well, if you want to achieve your financial personal goals with your own business, you know, you can't have a million dollar dream but a minimum work ethic. So if you want to have something that you've never had, you need to do something that you've never done before. And uh, obviously if you have your own business and everything works out, the financial reward can be absolutely great. And some people, they, they started with a small business operation and over the years, it turned into a multi-million dollar venture. So, the price that you must pay is hard work, long hours, dedication, and obviously you need to stay committed and have a goal. And the problem, you know, at first is, you know, what are you going to do? So are you going to find the right product or service that will actually sell that people are willing to pay money for? So, you know, in order to start, you need to ask yourself the right kind of questions and be a little creative and, uh, you know, then you'll get there. So. Why should you listen to me? Why am I qualified to talk about this this uh, whole subject? You know, I want to tell you a little bit about my own story, and uh, just because someone can cook doesn't mean that he can successfully run a restaurant. Well, in my case, you know, when I started uh, working, uh, it was 20 years ago at the end of 20. I started working in sales on straight commission, and uh, I was working in a a multi-level marketing sales organization in the financial industry as a financial planner. So I, during that time, I learned everything about selling, and I was, uh, you know, also becoming a team leader and hired and trained other salespeople. And by the time I was 23, I became the number one sales trainer uh, or team leader um, in Europe in that organization. And that organization had over 5,000 employees. And, uh, you know, I uh, 
went straight to the top. So at the age of 30, later, you know, a few years later, I decided to start my own business. And two and a half years later, I became a self-made millionaire. In my career, I had raised over $400 million from all kinds of financial products from private investors, over $600 million from institutional investors, and $40 million in two years from private investors for my own companies and my own projects uh, that I have founded. So I've, I've founded, managed, and owned several U.S. companies, Swiss companies, Canadian companies, uh, offshore companies, and I've built several sales teams. And at one point, I had over 60 salespeople in several countries working for me, and my income was over $100,000 a month. So that just kind of sums up my little business experience. Um, anyway, so I have learned what works and I've also learned what doesn't work. And because not every business that I was involved in turned into a success. However, I took several companies public in the stock market and financed them with millions of dollars. And one company was valued at over $300 million where I was the main shareholder. That was uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> but after all this time, um, I, uh, you know, had ups and I had downs and I have a lot of valuable lessons that I would like to share with you in this program. Because I believe that you don't need to make every mistake that I've made and you can learn it the right way from the start. So, however, there's no replacement for experience, but I can teach you what I believe in, what I know, and hopefully this uh, will help you to find the right business for you. So my goal is to help you with the process and give you my personal knowledge as a stepping stone and because I know how it is to start a new business, to start from, from scratch, and I know also how it is to build something from nothing, and especially you know if you don't have too much money to start out with. Um, anyway, so the, the winning strategy has always been think big but start small. So that's where we're starting. 